New, 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 shuffle. Do, 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 do. New, 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 new. Yeah, we go around this way. Yeah, go around that way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're now in the new product position. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. All right, lady. Prepare to qualify. What do you got this week? Okay, we've got these new Discord Adafruit badges and the Adabot Discord badge. You cannot buy these. No. They're not for sale. No. You can only get them by joining the Adafruit Discord community at yeah. adafruit.it slash discord. Yeah. Sign up, join the community, and be an awesome community member. And our We're just going to start sending them out. We're going to give them away to people. Help each awesome. other. Be cool. That's one of our solutions for community building. We'll give you a badge. Just be cool. Be cool. <laughs> if you're cool, we'll give you free badges so you can, you can get the Adafruit one or the Adabot one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Okay. Next up, we've got this really nice electric energy test. This is a, a power monitor, a little panel that pump a power monitor, but it's really nice. Um, it's a little more expensive than most panel monitors, but it's like really intense. It can do up to like 100 volts, it can do like 20 amps, and it's got built-in timer, temperature, and um, cumulative measurements. So it not only measures voltage and current, but it will also give you uh, milliamp hours and watt hours. So uh, this is the display. I can also show it on the overhead. Yeah, go for it. So we got it hooked up to like a Gemma here, and you just put it in between. It comes with alligator clips and everything. Um, and you can see it'll give you the voltage and the current, and um, it'll t keep time. So I've had this on for 16 minutes, and it'll keep time, and then tell you how many amp hours, uh, watts, watt hours. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. It's got uh, quite a bit of capability uh, built in to it, and you know if you want an all-in-one uh, power monitor measure that you know you don't need to get a calculator out or anything, um, this will do it for you. Um, this one also gives you um, the temperature, 23 degrees C. Uh, it'll also it'll give you the timing here. And yeah, it has a couple different modes. But I like this. This is a just all in one screen. And I like how um, complete it is. It's a little LCD. It has um, characters built in. There's also like a couple extra modes. I can do like a timer, like a over current or under current, over voltage or under voltage uh, by using um, the key and like pressing it in different ways. But I kind of was like it's a little too complicated for me to use I, I just like it in this mode but very very nice power monitor okay. for your project next up we have a little mini boost so this is uh we're using this chip in a couple projects i thought a breakout would be very handy it's a little boost converter chip but it's actually a, a switched cap converter um this little chip will take three to five volts in and give you five volts out it uses switched caps, so it's very inexpensive and very small. It doesn't have any inductors or diodes. It just uses a capacitor and basically uh, sw switches and swaps the current on the capacitor to double the voltage input and then regulates it down to 5 volts. It's small. It's low cost. Um, but if you just need like up to 100 milliamps at 5 volts, this will do the job for you quite well. Uh, and it's very compact. Next up. And we have the start of the show, which is the BME 680. I've been working on this breakout for like two years. <laughs> um, this, you know, it's, I had samples a very, very long time ago, and we had this breakout, and uh, finally we had uh, chips <coughs> came in, and so we're able to um, make the breakout and get in the store. So I have a little you have demo. Demo. Let me see. I think this will run off of batteries. Is why I like the Feather platform because I can just unplug it. Feather was designed for live videos when your USB cable is too short Pretty but you much. still want to do the live demo. So the BME 680 <laughs> <T> TM. <laughs> the BME 680 is, is kind of nice if people have used the BMP 280 which is a, a temperature and pressure sensor or the BME 280 which is an environmental has humidity pressure and temperature um, so you can you know, do altitude or barometric pressure or humidity and temperature so all that good stuff but the BME 680 adds a MOX sensor a metal oxide sensor and these are sensors that are a little it's a metal oxide and um, you basically put you know you heat, you heat it up and you measure the current through it and as there's more volatile organic gases in the environment the resistance goes down uh, which makes these really good for measuring like alcohols or um, uh, uh, carbon monoxide they can measure ethanol and a couple other uh, different gases, basically any of the gases that react with the carbon, uh, the uh, metal oxide layer. Um, the thing about the metal oxide sensors is, you know, they take a while to heat up, so you have to have it sort of sit for half an hour, and you get a resistance. So, you know, the gas sensor here is um, 275 kilo ohms, and then, you know, if I breathe on it even, um, it should go down now. So now it's 218 kilo ohms. So part of that is humidity and part of that is, you know, I just drank some fluid and ate some food and so I have 
uh, some probably gases in my mouth and also carbon dioxide's coming out of me uh, because I am not a robot. I'm a living human being. You're real. You can't prove that I'm a robot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, you know, you have to do a little bit of, of, of calibration and math with these gas sensors, but it, it does work quite well. And what's nice is it's an all-in-one sensor. So this is kind of like the most uh, integrated environmental sensor we have. It's, it's pretty sweet. Um, there is a library that Bosch has that can give you air quality uh, out, but it's like a very close source and compiled binary only. So we're kind of looking at some solutions for that. Uh, for now, we just suggest looking at the resistance and the humidity and just plotting those and, and take the baseline reading of the uh, gas sensor and then using that to determine, um, you know, whether you're getting more or less contamination in the air. Okay. The data, that was a new product. Yeah. Ready for a new product recap? Yes. Okay, new products this week, Lady Ada. Quick, quick, quick. We've got two Discord badges. They're not for sale. You can only get them by joining the Discord channel at adafruit.it slash Discord and becoming an awesome community member, and we will gift you one of these badges. We've got this electric energy tester meter. It's a really handy panel mount power meter. It gives you current, voltage, as well as watt hours, milliamp hours, temperature, a whole bunch of other measurements. It's kind of an all-in-one power monitor, and you don't need a calculator. It just everything, does everything for you. We have the AP3602A. It's a switch cap converter. Give it three to five volts in and it'll give you five volts at 100 milliamps out. It's a very low cost boost converter. So if you have a three volt or a LiPo battery, you need five volts, this will do the job for you. And we have the star of the show, the BME680. This all-in-one sensor from Bosch has temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and gas sensor. It can do volatile gas sensing air quality measurements, so it's really good for an all-in-one environmental sensor. It has four sensors in one. And that's it. No, no, no. Work okay. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention the BME 680 comes with, uh, it's one of, it's, it's part of our new sensor trend. It comes with both Arduino and CircuitPython code. So oh. we are 